Hey guys, what's going on? It's JCW Gamer here, and I am bringing a. I don't even know what. I I've never thought I'd have to do this <laughs> this video, even so early as well. So, I I have just woken up at half twelve. That's because I went to sleep at six o'clock because I was uh, staying up with someone. So it, if my voice does sound a bit, you know what I mean. So that's why. Um, but yeah, I found out this news yesterday, and that's when it was released yesterday. I'm sure it was probably announced before, but it was just a really difficult decision to be made. So it's happened. Like it's it's been released now. So Telltale Games are closing and they are finishing off The Walking Dead and they are cancelling all current projects. That's including The Wolf Among Us Season 2 and Stranger Things. This does still doesn't like go for Minecraft story mode on Netflix. I, I'm not sure because that's Netflix running that. So I'm not sure if like the people's gonna be buying these Telltale games off well off Telltale games. So I'm kind of like I I do kind of think it's it's it. Uh, I thought it was a prank when I first saw it. Right. So I don't know if it will be bought off by another company, but I do believe it is like it it's over now. It, no one's gonna buy. I don't think like these games because these games are cancelled. Like if even if someone buys Telltale games from them no one's gonna really enjoy it as much and they're probably gonna lose more fans anyway but The Walking Dead the final season it's gonna be finished and people are just hoping it ain't, it ain't gonna be laggy and there is gonna be like no bugs in this. It, they're gonna hope it's gonna have a perfect ending and not like a cliffhanger just they're gonna have to make it a, a, like a decent ending now because there's only 25 people working left on this game now last year 25% of the uh, the people 20 25% of the players were fired <laughs> 25% of uh, employees or were fired last year in November for economic reasons. Okay, uh, they messed up the money or something, and I don't know why. That was like over a hundred people who were working there, and it's just really disappointing and it's heartbreaking because it's my favourite game series. Like all their games are my favourite, and it's just me playing Dead by Daylight, and I see this news online, and I'm, I feel like, oh no, it's a prank, but then I look at their Twitter and they confirmed it themselves, so I was playing Dead by Daylight, and I saw Swing Point, I thank God I had a notification from him, and he was playing Dead by Daylight, uh, and he also said in the title, uh, Telltale is closing, uh, and I was like, oh, and he, while well, he's playing Dead by Daylight, he, I, I swear, I, I saw a glit, uh, like I watched a bit of it, and he just couldn't, he, his face, he just wasn't speaking much in the live stream, because he, he's a massive fan of Telltale games, and, uh, he, he was just talking about that throughout the whole thing, so uh, it's, so it's just got re like really depressed while playing and like working on all the generators. But yeah, so my favourite two Telltale games is Minecraft Story Mode and The Walking Dead. 100% Walking. You probably got, for my channel, you probably already knew that. Uh, but if if you haven't checked out my channel, um, if you're new and yeah, but my favourite two was Minecraft Story Mode and it and Walking Dead, and it's a shame. That Minecraft Story Mode Season 3 isn't going to be happening, that's going to be cancelled, obviously, if they were even having the slightest idea on it. Um, it was a great ending, and I thought, you know, a cliffhanger. I, I took around, I'm not joking, half an hour to make the final decision on the game live, but... I, I love season two and I love season one and it was just an amazing series and The Walking Dead um, Yeah, thank God I thought like oh no they're gonna cancel The Walking Dead mid project and I was like you can't do that People's already bought the season pass and stuff and I, I bought the season pass But it's like I just imagine a panel like bringing everyone there so like yeah We're not gonna give you your money back, but this is why and they just like reveal Walking Dead season five and Obviously that's not gonna be a thing because it's the final season, but that'd be a great surprise But I will be having a video on The Walking Dead the final season episode two trailer breakdown and some screenshots that I found and I'll be uh, analyzing them and I've found out something as well on one of the screenshots obviously there's videos on them already but I'll, I'll do it myself all right okay all right thank you so yeah uh, I even made a whole present presentation of the Telltale games you know and I, I did pretty well on it uh, it, it, yeah, it was uh, it was at school actually. Uh, I did a whole presentation of it, and it, it did go really well. And I was talking about my favourite characters like Clementine uh, and all that. Okay, just mainly Clementine. For evidence, uh, Telltale said this uh, before they, I read out what they've said. They have even removed the Wolf Among Us from their bio, the Wolf Among Us season two, um, and Stranger Things. I think that was on there as well. But all they have on their bio now for Twitter is the Walking Dead. The final season is now available on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch. And they have links to all of them. <clears throat> and uh, they've, yeah, uh, mentioned that episode two is going to be available the 25th of September. So anyway, 
Uh, it's a great way to end it, you know, their series, bringing back an old character, like an, an old character from one of their very old, uh, well, the very first seasons, which is Lily from season one, who's come back in the final season of The Walking Dead. I mean, it's nice to do that, but it's still crazy to believe they just posted it out of the blue on Twitter instead of like doing it on like a, a obviously not a panel maybe, but like something like official, but they've just, out of the blue on Twitter, like if you're playing Dead by Daylight, for example, and you read that, it's just really heartbreaking. But this is what Telltale Games have posted on their Twitter. So, for immediate release, today Telltale Games made a difficult decision to begin a majority studio closure following a year marked by insurmountable challenges. A majority of the company's employees were dismissed earlier this morning, with a small group of 25 employees staying on to fulfil the company's obligations to its board and partners. CEO Pete Hawley, I, I think it's Hawley, uh, to apologise if it's not, issued the following statement. It's been an incredible difficult year for Telltale. Did I say incredible? I said, <laughs> it's been an incredible difficult year. Oh no, definitely bloody hasn't. It's been a very depressing year if this is the case. It's been an incredibly difficult year for Telltale as we worked to set the company on a new course. Unfortunately, we ran out of time trying to get there. We released some of our best content this year and received a tremendous amount of positive feedback. But ultimately, that did not translate to sales. With a heavy heart, we watched our friends leave today to spread our brand of storytelling across the games industry. Reading that makes you think, well, it might not be fully confirmed then, because they didn't actually mention that they're, you know, confirming. Yeah, it, I know, I know, but a lot of people, it's, it, it's all out in the news. Even YouTubers like Jacksepticeye's tweeted out, and like they're really disappointed. I even I was disappointed. I, I was really excited for the Wolf Among Us season two, but. Uh, we all had an amazing ending. I can't really remember it, so I'd have to probably play the whole thing again. But I would have been really excited to do, you know, play the whole thing again and just you know, jump straight into the second season. You never know; they could just come out of nowhere and be like, "Yeah, okay, we've we've changed our decision. We've got we we've made a mistake or something." But it, uh, online, it says confirmed. So Telltale has blatantly said some, something about this elsewhere on Twitter. So that's uh, probably why there's more people like, "Oh, confirmed, confirmed," uh, which I haven't read about. But if it is just Twitter, then. Yeah, you never know, they could just, it might not be confirmed, confirmed. I mean, there's still employees there, but I think they're just there to finish off The Walking Dead and they're leaving, unfortunately. Oh, I wonder what, over a hundred employees got fired last year, it's crazy, it's, it's, it, I, I, it's like just, oh, and, and for Telltale as well, I think they said it was like a, I wouldn't say harsh environment they, they, they were working in, but I think I read, I, watched a video about that uh, but I think that was from last year or something or that's from this year because they're f uh, they're closing but that is it's something to do with the money or something and they're saying they're not getting enough uh, you know it's not reaching their sales target or something about that but I do ob obviously good luck to wherever they are in the future Telltale or what they're going to do with future projects maybe what if all, obviously the um, if they're going to move on to different games like the employees are going to move on to different companies and stuff to help with games because that's what they do right so Telltale in general all the voice actors can't wait to see what other work they've got uh, they're going to work on like Melissa Hutchinson Clementine Dave Fornoy Lee I know a lot of them do other games now while well, Lee anyway because he's in Marvel Spider-Man and he is in Mar Mafia 3 that's what I've caught him in cheeky so yeah that is going to be it guys so if you did enjoy that we're going to smack a lick on the video if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe and yeah this is just overall really heartbreaking because i did it is my favorite company for, to make games and i was like right, right okay this is lately a, 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 just a nightmare because i'm i am pretty pretty much up late so it might not be true <laughs> but yeah uh, uh, but uh I wake up and I'm like, oh crap. I told my mum as well, because I got her to play the whole of Walking Dead. She's uh, a bit uh, upset about that. But uh, she was excited for the Wolf of Mars. Uh, what's it called? Uh, the Game, Game of Thrones season 2. But yeah, unfortunately, if, if there was any theories on that, going to be you know started to work on. That's out of the window as well. So, that is going to be it. Thank you all for watching. Um, I will have a, I think up to date, a episode 2 breakdown of Walking Dead. So keep the spirits high, guys, until the Walking Dead's finished. It's not over yet. Walking Dead, come on, we episode 2 out, 25th of September. Let's do this. So, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.